this is Elaine from Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this pop-up front step card with the So Many Snowflakes bundle and the So Many Snowflakes suite. So here's the pop-up card. It folds flat so that you can mail it. And I've made some uh, instructions on a template here so you can see that so it's a regular five and a half by eight and a half card and I've scored it at four and a quarter five and a quarter seven and eight so go ahead and take a screenshot of that or take a moment to write those down And then I have a second piece, and this is the front piece, and it is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, so it's a square. And then you're gonna score it at one half and one and a half. And these are all in inches. So these are your two base pieces that you're gonna need in the same color. Or you could do different colors if you want. All right, so hopefully you have a picture of that. So I've got my two pieces. I've got my front piece and my base piece here. So you're gonna fold all the square lines in the same direction. You're gonna score all of those and burnish them with your bone folder all in the same direction so that's what's going to create the pop-up so all let's see here all in the same direction okay now we're gonna um, add some designer series paper so this one does not get any designer series paper, so we're gonna set that aside. But this one does. And I've got some of the Snowflake designer series paper here, super pretty. And we're gonna start by putting some on the top right here. And I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. I can cue it up. And I'm just going to adhere it to the top right here. Okay. And then on the other side of the card, so this is one side of the card right here. And then I'm going to flip it over. And on the other side of the card, I'm going to add a piece here and a piece here. So on the second and third panels from the top. So we've got all our designer series paper in place. Okay, so now to go ahead and do the first part of the pop-up, we're going to add some adhesive to this tab right here. And for this, um, I'm gonna use the Stampin' Seal Plus. I just want a little bit stronger adhesive to hold this in place. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold at the second score line down here, which is the 
um, seven inch score line that we did, which is right here. And I'm just going to uh, press that down. So it's like that. And that's what's gonna create our box right here. Okay, so that's creating this bottom box. And that's what's gonna fold flat. Pretty easy, huh? Not too hard? All right, so now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna do some stamping. So there's stamping on the front and there's actually some stamping on the back. So I've got my two pieces of Whisper White here and I'm gonna get some scratch paper. And I've got three colors. I've got Balmy Blue, and Highland Heather, and Misty Moonlight. And I'm gonna be stamping off. So if I do uh, Balmy Blue, I'm gonna stamp off. And okay. And why don't I stamp the sentiments first? So on this one, we have Snowflake Wishes for Merry Christmas. That's not centered and it's crooked. So, sorry, must do it again. So we'll center it better and hopefully it'll be straight. Okay, that's better. And then on the other one in Misty Moonlight, I did May Your Season Sparkle. Those are full strength. All right, more. Um, let's do this star in purple. Do purple. I'm doing the large stars on the larger piece, and I'll do the smaller stars on the smaller piece. Do some misty moonlight. Do like a little filler with purple. And let's do it in another color too. Do it in the balmy blue. Okay, I'm liking it. Okay, and then this one, let's do this one, Balmy Blue. Okay, and we got this one. Heather and this one we're gonna do in Misty Moonlight. And then we've got some sprinkles we're gonna do in Balmy Blue. There we go, nice. So then these are all layered on Highland Heather.
Highland Heather. And I've got some cut out snowflakes too out of the balmy blue glimmer paper and some shimmery white paper that I can watercolor, so different colors. Have some fun. Ooh, actually, I think I used dimensionals. But actually on the back, I'm not gonna use dimensionals. I'll just do it on the front. So on the back of this, we can just place this down. And then on the front of this, we'll use dimensionals. Uh -huh. So on this piece right here, we're going to put it on this side right there. And then let's sort these out. So the large one and this one go here. And then we're going to use glue dots for these two. One, two, three, four. And we'll do one over here. And one down here. And then on the back of this, we can do one up here. And then let's have some fun. We can watercolor this one a little bit with our Highland Heather here and our Misty Moonlight. Nope, we did it with Balmy Blue. So I'm just gonna get this all wet, 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 wet. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of the purple some purple over here and there. Wipe off the purple and grab some blue. And it looks like I'm watercoloring my finger too. And there we have our watercolored tie-dyed snowflake. Kind of fun. Just do something a little bit different. Wipe the blue off there. Then we'll add this to the back too. Down here. Then we'll add a rhinestone when that's dry. So to add this to the front, again, we're gonna use our strong stamp and seal. this down to the first score line right here and we're going to line this up kind of tuck this in a little bit but we're going to line this up this score line with this top piece right here okay and center it so line that up right there okay and then we're going to open this up just make sure that's adhered really well. And we're gonna put some adhesive down here. And just uh, keep that lined up, fold that down, and voila! We have our, what's this called again? our pop-up front step 
card. Pretty, huh? There we go. Three different versions of it. One, two, three. These are so much fun. I can see so many possibilities for these cards. And what's cool about them is they fold flat for mailing. So cool. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can check out all my videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.